ready? You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it upright. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the ox. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And that one was heavy. Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Oh, straight right. Cejudo continues to mix it up, going to the head, mix it up. Oh, there you go. Got the right there. Just over two minutes, round one. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. And they both stand up. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What can you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very short. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Nice hammer fist. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, just about ready to go here. Round two, Henry Cejudo versus T.J. Dillashaw. Lands a big elbow there. Vicious combo there! Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Pretty significant to the left side. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, and they separate. Just misses there with the left. Misses with the jab there. Oh! All right, so the numbers continue to pile up. 71 total strikes have landed for Henry Cejudo. And landing with 46% accuracy tonight against TJ Dillashaw. 
Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Liver kick. A oh, really good job by him. Straight up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. Gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Under two minutes to go. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down. DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Big elbow! Olympic gold medalist Cejudo gets touched, and once again, it's that elbow. That has been there all night. Defense has got to be better. All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Dillashaw's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Are working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Ooh, elbow from the bottom lands to the head. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in. All right, here we go, third and final round. Zahudo going for the takedown here, nothing doing there. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything. Oh! Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? Left punch is clean, followed by a right. So who knows? Oh! He's in trouble. Whoa! He's hurt bad. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down there. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. So a beautifully executed trip to get the takedown defensively. What are you trying to do to prevent that? You got to be so aware defensively. Because if you're not, the moment you're out of position, a guy like this will find those takedowns with those trips in all kinds of different scenarios. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling should really be entertaining. So the unofficial numbers, 104 total strikes have now landed for Henry Cejudo. to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, pin down. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine oh. he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that.
So a big win for him here tonight, and he made an even bigger statement by getting it by TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb